My bike was stolen one year ago from this exact spot. It had a heavy D-lock on it, but that was no match for this robber and his fancy tools. So, I'm out for revenge. So, I put air tags in my new bike and waited for the next criminal to come. <laughs> sniffing their criminal nose around so I'd be able to follow them. The plan was simple. Leave the bike outside with four air tags fixed onto it, geniusly named You are being watched. Wait for the bike to be stolen, track their every move, steal my bike back and send a message to all bike thieves out there just to leave me and my bikes alone. Take a stupid little 40 pound spinny disc tools and fuck off. We're gonna see how long this puppy lasts here. So, whatever criminals out there, I'm coming for you. Just know it. Let's go fishing for thieves. So, I need to address something. Why am I leaving the bike unlocked? Well, hundreds of delivery riders get their bikes stolen in this exact scenario whilst heading into shops to pick up their deliveries. Oh no, someone's dropped my bike. Stop him! Please! So, a bike thief is a bike thief, whether they're an opportunist or roll around with bolt cars. <laughs> tomato, tomato. So, just like that, the bike was alone waiting to be stolen. 30 minutes, 40 minutes, 50 minutes, still nothing. But then, as an hour went by, a mysterious man appeared. But would he take the bait? He looks left. He looks right. Hand on the saddle. He kicks the stand. Ass to seat. Is he going to take the bike? I think he's going to take the bike. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. I'm in hot pursuit. Let's see where this puppy goes. A couple of minutes passed and I had already got the first ping from the air tag, which took me to this apartment block. I had a look around but couldn't see the bike anywhere, despite my phone telling me I was on top of it. There was only one more place it could be. I'm right on top of it, which goes down into a garage. Let's go and investigate. It's here, it's right there. I don't trust it. I tried moving closer to see if I could pick up a signal. I had no idea whether the thief had dumped it in this garage to pick up later, or whether he was still with it. Either way, I pressed on. I got all the way to the end where I saw a beaten up car, which wasn't creepy at all, and decided that at that point, I'm too much of a pussy to investigate further, so... I'm getting out of there. That's when I saw it. The garage, which was open a crack. Maybe it was in there. I moved closer. Closer, what could be inside? Hey guys, it's me. I'm in this garage. Uh, the bike wasn't here, but if you're enjoying this rambunctious content, then I urge you to subscribe, or they won't let me out of this garage. Thank you. And I run away to safety like real men do. I did one more lap, but no luck. Right, that was a sketchy little spot. Three of the air tags aren't working. I think it might have lost signal because it's underground, but damn, man. And then I got another ping. The hunt was back on, baby. It was saying it had only made it 300 meters down the road. It's moved down this road. Was I about to come face to face with the thief in his creamy brown Converse satchel? I'm literally right on top of it. There's a garage instead of I don't know where we can look though. When I looked inside, there was something way worse. The corpse of a murdered Christmas tree. Okay, so I don't think it's in there. On the map, I'm literally directly above it, but this place looks just like a community garden and I can't see it anywhere. So I think it must still be on the moon and uh, it's only connecting to iPhones as it keeps moving. So <laughs> what to do? And then, silence. None of the air tags had updated in over 30 minutes, and I was beginning to think the thief had found them and destroyed them. So, there was nothing more I could do. I just headed back to base, defeated as a victim of not one, but multiple bike thefts. Seeing another thief get away left me wondering. I wanted to see if the people of London actually care about bike crime, or whether it was just a fluke that four people saw my bike getting stolen and didn't say a thing. Oh. Where's the holes? It's time to become a criminal, I guess. 
Excuse me, gents. I'm doing a survey today. Excuse me, mate. Can you help me unlock my bike? Just one second. So bike theft in London. Yeah. It's everywhere, right? Everywhere, man. Do you mind just like holding, holding the lock here? Just like this. If you ever saw someone stealing a bike, would you stop the person? Basically, I need to get my key out. If you can just hold that, so. Oh, okay. Thanks, mate. If in a group, of course, I'll, I'll try to stop it. Like two people. Yeah, of course. If yeah. you two were together, yeah, you'd like stop them? Busy street like this. Yeah. Then we would. Okay. What? Are you. What? what wait, wait, wait. Okay. Are you the owner of the bike? Yeah, yeah. Really? You're good, mate. Don't worry. Tell that to the officer. What? Oh. Hey, hey, where are you going? Have you ever been arrested before? Arrested? No. No. Neither, neither have I. Bye. Thanks, buddy. Okay, Thanks. Okay. This wasn't my bike. What? Escape! 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 Well, that sort of proves my point. People just don't care. So, I thought I'd increase the stakes by offering someone 20 quid to help me steal my bike. This bloke said he wouldn't accept the money. What if the thief offers to pay you off? No, I'd be on the floor. I'd be putting him down. Then shortly after, took my money and gave me a hug. Yeah, no! Kind of... No! Yeah. <laughs> but once again, let me ride off. I paid you 20 quid, mate. Yeah. You gotta let me have it now. I might actually tackle a guy. Tackle a guy. No, I'd be on the floor. It turns out there are easier ways to make 20 quid which don't include acts of burglary. How so? All thanks to the lay sponsor, Revolut. Revolut are a financial super app used by over 18 million people across the globe. And they're giving every single person who watches this video and downloads their app with my link, 20 pounds for free. Wow. I love Revolut, and here's why. What's sexier than a metal card? Personalised metal cards. Look at me, I'm drawing a cat on my card right now. Whoa. Not only that, but they give you loads of tasty rewards like 10% cash back at Nike, up to £5 off Uber rides, 4% cash back at Foot Asylum, and my personal fave, 4% cash back at End Clothing. Ah! Oh. Download the app for free and get a £20 welcome bonus if you use my link. Terms and conditions apply. Welcome to the Revolut family. Back to the robbery. So it turns out I'm the only one fighting for what's important here. I'm a crusader and it's time to take matters into my own hands. It's time to give them a taste of their own medicine. After a few hours of losing signal, I got another ping from the air tag. It's about two miles from the original location, but something wasn't quite right as it was pinging from inside the home of God himself. A church. I mean a church. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to call them and see if I can get inside. Good afternoon. Hiya, how are you doing? Good, thank you. This is going to be a weird request, but I've just had my bike stolen and the tracker has sort of led to your church. Yeah, my son's family are going to try and see if he could trace it. Ah, I see, how oh, brilliant. It stood there, some watching over it, because he stood there for another 15 minutes. He stood there for 15 minutes, did he? They are going to go and have a look. Playing at real speed. Real speed. His arm in an actual one position. Mark. His arm's away from his body. Penalty. Obviously, he thought he found gold. <laughs> yeah, well, it's good that he waited by the bike for 15 minutes. Okay, Zach, as soon as he comes back in, I'll let him know. God bless you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye bye. Bye. What a liar. <laughs> What a fucking liar. She tried gaslighting me as well. She's like, you shouldn't leave your bike out of that. I was like, well, fucking sometimes. And then I received a call from her son. Hello? Hello, mate. I believe I've got something for yours. Yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Do you know what it was? I wore it on the way up, and then on the way back, it was still sitting there. Yeah. And I had a cigarette, and I, and I thought, what's going on? I thought someone had just abandoned it or something. So I yeah. Mum's church. Yeah. And I said to him, don't you got a tracker on it anyway, you know? So it's not like I was going to do anything. Yeah, of course. 
Appreciate that, mom. Take care. Cheers. Bye. Bye. It's a convincing story. It's a very convincing story. So what this man is saying is that he stole my bike in order to stop my bike from being stolen. That is the most primary school excuse I've ever heard. Either way, finally, the time had come to steal it back. I'm on my way. I'm hoping that this isn't a little trap. I'm going to walk into this church, the home of God, and hopefully not get mugged. Now, I'm not going to lie. The palms were sweaty. My knees were weak. But luckily, my arms are feeling pretty light, actually. So as I edged closer to the church, I reminded myself of why I was there. This scumbag took what was rightfully mine, and I was here to strike fear through all thieves across the globe. I wasn't doing this for me. The mission was bigger than myself. So as I approached his door, I was ready for war. Hiya, mate. You all right? Oh, appreciate it, man. Thank you very much for that. Hello, you all right? Yeah. Unfortunately, what ended up happening was probably the most polite British conversation you've ever heard. I'm not sure what part of my character makes me like this. This man stole my bike and now I was in his house about to become his best mate. Take care, bro. Thanks a lot. And you, take care. Come on! I smiled and cheered in victory, but I knew deep below this tough exterior was a fragile man questioning his existence. Yes, I had my bike back, but deep down I knew this was a loss. I hadn't sent a message to the thief. In fact, the only thing I did do was tell him to sign up to Revolut to get 20 quid. Have you ever heard of Revolut? They basically give everyone 20 quid for signing up. And then Revolut, they, um... yeah. In that moment, I realised I was never the man to send a message to criminals through aggression. Passive aggression is more my speciality. Mental warfare is my game. And that's when I hatched a new genius plan. But it requires him to want to meet me for a pint. I don't know how I'm going to wangle this. Hello. Hello, how you doing? It's Zach. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've been thinking over the last week, like, I really appreciated what he'd done for me, and I, I wanted to give him a little surprise and take him out for a pint as well. Oh, he's here now. Do you want to speak to him? Yeah, yeah, if you could. Zach, Wait, wait, wait. She actually just said the guy you stole the bike from. He definitely stole my bike deliberately. Please hold the line. Hello? Hi, mate. How's it going? I wanted to give you a little something to say thank you, and then I'll grab you a pint or something at a pub. Yeah, um, I'm a little bit tied up today, but um, maybe tomorrow. So, yeah, if you just if, if you tell me what time... You're free. I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to come and have a pint with you. Yeah, that'd be nice. Cheers, mate. Good to hear from you. See ya. <laughs> Why am I becoming friends with this guy? This seems too nice. Guy, he's the nicest thief in the world. And I want to get revenge on him. But every time I speak to him, he wins me back. He joined me in a pub. And uh, <laughs> for some reason, I'm meeting the guy who stole my bike for a pint. I'm going to avoid conflict like a normal British person, but I'm going to leave him with the bill. It's a real sucker punch to the chest. Basically, I've got a little sign for Scott where I'm going to rub my ear. When he rings me, I'm going to take the call, walk outside, and he'll never see me again. It's about five minutes away. So as I sat there waiting in the pub, I realized this was my moment to stick it to all bike criminals. Thoughts rushed my head. Would he steal my heart? Would I be able to follow through with the plan? Will a random painting fall on my head? Oh God. oh, God. Well, I wish that last one wasn't true, but yeah, that happened. What am I like, eh? <laughs> anyway, I was about to come face to face with a thief in any moment. I think he might be outside. Sorry, man, I've been in the back there. Oh, sorry. How's it going? Right, right. <laughs> yeah, good, man. Come on, eh? Right, a pony? Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> put them on the tablet? Right, I've got a little table around the back. Now I'm not going to lie, it was a rocky start. He was charming. We cheers drank and laughed together, just like real life friends. He even invited me round his in the summer. Yeah, I'd have come round and had a fucking beer in the garden in the summer. <laughs> I've got your number now, I wrote it down. Hey, right. yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm like that, yeah, yeah. Is this how you make real friends? I don't know. Either way, I snapped out of it, stuck to the plan, scratched my ear, got the call and did a runner. Oh, it's going to take this a second. Hello? All right, mate. Apparently outside, running away. But at this point, when I looked back in the window and saw a lonely man there, I questioned everything again. I couldn't do it. I'm not that guy. 
And if that makes me a lesser man for becoming friends, then so be it. I like this thief. He's my friend. How's my missus? I have to shoot, but well, it's pleasure. Yeah, nice one, man. I may have a new friend, but my beef with bike criminals doesn't end there. Because my girlfriend's bike got wrecked a few days later. That bike is actually done. The chain and everything is all fucked. And the brake wire. <gasps> Thanks to Revolut, that wasn't an issue. She doesn't know yet that I've got her here. Hello? Yeah. 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 You've been a naughty oh, girl. No! Life goes on and 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 on and